Okay, hi guys, it's Sasa Crafter. Today I want to show you how I made this flower. Isn't that pretty? Love it. So as you know, I made from a pie cones and this. See, um, this one is perfect because all the petal is, you know, sticking out um, individual. Some of the pie cone, you know, is stick together. It's not over lighted. It had to uh, peel it off. What you're gonna do is just take a piece the petal off and, and I use this one, the jewelry cut. Yeah, take it apart. Um I use this um eighteen petal. You can use as many you want. And I cut this off, see? Is it how big uh, your flower is up to you that I cut like maybe an inch? No, one inch. Eighteen of them or twenty, I don't know. Up to you. So I will cut this one and I will I will be right back, guys. And now I want to paint any color that you want. I'm going to paint with, look, I've been using this a lot. This paint, acrylic paint, not that good because it inside it gathered together and kind of cloud up this one. So I think it not like that. Maybe next time I should try this brand. We'll see what happened. But I like this one so far, the white one. So next time I'm done with it, I can get the black one. gonna paint all the black acrylic paint here. After you paint it you want to dry with the heat too it's fine. I will paint this up um, off the camera. Um, I'll be I will be right back, guys. Okay, after you paint it, you want to use um, rub and bob or not? It up to you. You don't have to, but I like how it look. So I'm adding to my rub and bob either like you do. It. Um, I have this rub and bob too, but I don't like it. It's not good quality. You know, guys, because this one you see. It uh, the center it actually white and when I rub with rub and bob with this one it came see it came out I don't like it see this one it from this rub and bob it's really good quality see the ink not coming off so I gonna use this the antique go rub and bob. Just do all the petal. See here. I'm gonna do all of your petals. And I already done all of mine. And now we're gonna put it together. I'm gonna use my cardstock and um, three quarter circle punch here. Let me take off this one. And wh what you want to do is you pinch on the edge here. Let's see, you guys, you guys can see here to make it stand up. You know what, guys? You can uh, coat this with uh, UT to make it shiny, look, look like a crystal flower. That's a good idea. I might should. 
I might try later. Yeah, I should try later. Very too crispy. Now, um, I'm gonna start at four petal first. And then I'm gonna start between um, this and down here, like kind of four four. You can start at um, five if you want to. It's up to you. Eat your flower, do whatever you want. Now I'm going to start the gap between here. And I try to put like a cup here. See. When you start at four, four, two layer first, and then you, if you use a small petal, you'll know how to lay your flower, guys. You just follow the gap. Should I use more or enough? I think this one I have more than 18 petal. Or if you don't like um, the outside did look, you can uh, always add more of these, the small piece, um, the big piece. And I hear the outside here like this and you'll cut the cut stock to cover the one this piece you know what I mean guys cut like hot glue there and then cut the a piece of cut stock the circle and cover with this piece again for me I I don't want it outside like this for now I think I want more one 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 more piece there. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to use my this flower center here, the pros here. And I'm gonna paint it in um gold. Use my rub and buff. Let's see. 
I'm gonna use my brush to do this guy because I want the drop and bob to go between the really tiny here. This one, it I'm gonna hot glue it on the center there. Oop. Hang on a second, guy. I make a mess here. And Bob not dry yet. Let's see. Hang on a second. Here it go. 